and hello my friends I'm Spell and welcome to the channel what will we be talking about today today I want to talk to you about uh, a more personal topic but it is related to motorcycles too some of you might know that I lost about 30 kilos I achieved that by uh, changing my lifestyle my diet uh, so I did the keto diet the infamous keto diet actually this week it marked my uh, one year uh, since I started the, the diet some of you might say oh the keto this is you know crazy it's is crap blah 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 rubbish yeah I've heard it all from friends even when I posted uh, last year on Facebook that uh, I was uh, I was gonna give it a try oh man I never had a post on Facebook t on Facebook attracting more hate than what that one did uh, it just gave me more uh, motivation to to do it and do it right so if you don't know the keto diet is basically a high fat low carb diet that's like just scratching the surface because it's not really uh, like that the fat that you eat is just to uh, provide that feeling that you are full and will last for longer so you can adapt it to to yourself because you know we are all different and your body reacts to to food in different ways so you might feel that you, know, you don't really need to go that high on the, on the fat side to achieve the results you want so I basically eat everything just like any people would of course I would avoid as you can see on the, the potatoes and the food that is very high in carbs sugars as well that's that's gone man I uh, I quit sugars and alcohol yeah I don't really drink that much so it is not something that bothers me and then of course if you ask me Oh, but are you not missing like your chips, your pasta and all that? No, I, I, I'm not really missing it at all. I'm not. I guess because I'm lucky, I can have everything else on this lifestyle. Uh, I like it just uh, kind of equally. I'm fine skipping the potatoes and the pastas, to be fair. And the sugars, although the sugars were a bit, was a bit hard at the beginning because uh, I know I, I, I do have a, a, a sweet tooth uh, a huge one at the beginning I was like I don't know what to do I really fancy a chocolate and you know that uh, that is hard to uh, to fight but soon I discovered some alternatives um, and now I do oh man so many desserts that is just awesome see like oh this picture here this is a, a dark chocolate uh, mousse oh man that thing is divine I put a splash of uh, whiskey and something that's really really unleashes all the the good things about the chocolate and that is sea salt oh man I really want one now it's so nice so delicious I don't use um, sugars I use alternatives on this case I use erythritol because it doesn't have any any effect on your glycemic index or anything yeah so uh, that's out of the way everything else was quite easy at least for me you know I like my uh, my broccolis I like my cauliflower I like my Brussels sprouts actually I love Brussels sprouts that's all to, to say it is not as bad as uh, as people make it because uh, it seems like if you're on a, on a keto diet you are basically leaking uh, the fat that drips from uh, the bacon you cook uh, man no nothing like that it's actually in my eyes a very uh, healthy lifestyle because I find myself I'm eating more salads more uh, veggies than what I was before you know then I have my uh, my protein 
uh, that will be like your cheek and your meat uh, and things like that and then for the fat I'll go and get the fat usually from olives olive oil of course is quite good from uh, the cheeses so I'm quite light at the moment I'm, I'm not a, a very uh, muscular guy I was meant to start on uh, on the gym in around March but then uh, Covid happened and well you know the gyms were closed around here even now that they are open I'm not entirely comfortable in going to the gym yet there have been like many cases around here more than uh, than at the beginning of, uh, of the first wave so yeah I've been doing some uh, some exercises at home but that's just like just body weight push-ups and things like that so there's just so much you can do but anyway that's me that's uh, the lifestyle I chose to do and I call it lifestyle for one reason because when you say a diet people naturally assume that oh yeah you're gonna go on a diet uh, to lose whatever weight you want to lose and then that's you back again out of the diet eating normal that's the biggest mistake people make because as soon as you do that you're gonna uh, get all the weight back there's no other way around it if you want to do a diet to lose weight or whatever then you need to to change your habits change your lifestyle it needs to be something that you can do long term because otherwise it will be a yo-yo you do it you know you lose the weight that you want you say yeah I'm done cool amazing you start eating what you know whatever rubbish you you ate before and uh, you know, that's you putting the weight back on again so that's why I call it lifestyle because I'm uh, doing this um, as my lifestyle you know, it's not just a diet anyway guys I guess I guess you are tired of hearing me uh, speaking about my uh, my regiment if you don't know what a keto diet is now you know uh, don't be fooled by the fact that we say it's a high fat diet because it will really depend on uh, on each individual I personally I don't have as much fat because the, the diet says like 75% fat 20% protein and uh, and 5% carbs uh, Nah, I, not even close. The carbs, probably I'm that close, but I'm eating more protein than that and way less fat than, uh, than that. So, yeah, just, uh, just a matter of see what works for each other. Everything to say that. I struggle if I don't have anything planned. And if I'm writing about and I get hungry, then it's a, it's a bit of a nightmare. If I'm at home, I know what I can eat. I can just make something quick for me. That's not a problem. But when when I go out, you know, you go to a normal cafe, or whatever. What do you have? You have sandwiches. Now, if you're lucky, you have uh, you have a salad. But everything is basically more carbs oriented. So the problem I'm facing is more like I'm thinking. Well, I want to do some uh, some trips, you know, I want to do the North Coast 500. How will I do that? Either I have to find a way and keep my lifestyle or I have to quit my lifestyle for a bit and uh, just have all the carbs and uh, all, all that and the sugars that I normally don't have. Mm. Ah, that's not ideal because that, let, let me tell you this um, when I change for the keto uh, lifestyle one thing that uh, changed um, massively was um, heartburn I would have every single day every bloody day I would eat I would have heartburn I would eat I would have heart heartburn and uh, oh man that went on for years the first Thing that happened when I stopped the carbs was my heartburn went away but anyway I don't really fancy going back to a way of eating that uh, will bring my heartburn back I, I really want to ask I don't know if there is anyone watching this with uh, dietary requirements vegetarian or vegan although it's, it's becoming much easier on that front uh, nowadays if you have a specific uh, dietary requirement how do you go 
about when you are touring around on a motorcycle so again i want to do north course 500 but i have plans as well if i want to go down to portugal on a motorbike it will be some weeks on the bike and i want to keep my lifestyle but i don't know how i will do it because it seems to me very hard when i'm out and about on a motorcycle so yeah how do you do it if you have a dietary requirement i mean on a normal day like this you could maybe prepare something at home and then you uh, you just have it or you can maybe i don't know buy it on the supermarkets you know if you are doing like a, lo a longer trip and then make your own food i don't know that seems to be too much work when you already have maybe to pitch a tent and something like that yeah you could go to a restaurant and usually on the restaurants i don't really have any problem because uh, you know if i'm having a steak or whatever that's not a problem i just ask them to get me some uh, some veggies on the on the side or some extra salad or whatever and that's me sorted but i'll be spending quite a lot of money if i do that i'm not really sure if that's the way i want to to do but anyway, uh, that's it guys, let me know, let me know down there, give me ideas, how could I uh, manage this, uh, this around? If you have been through that yourself, being that keto, being that uh, uh, vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, whatever, uh, let me know how you managed to, uh, to deal with it, any tips or tricks I could use to make it easier for myself. I want to ride the bike, I want to know uh, new places, explore new, uh, new roads, new countries, but I want to, to do it whilst you know, not suffering from uh, heartburn or anything like that. Well, okay everyone, thanks very much for watching, ride safe and I'll see you soon. Adios. Hola. You can't see the